Welcome back to Road to 56 as Ireland. Well, Fishy France has fallen. France has been liberated. Italy has split into a civil war. And we are finally getting some... some troops to send as an expeditionary force. So I'm going to put these out as semi-reserve units. Basically, regular infantry and the... Orion battalions, Orion brigades, I'm going to call them. They will get more of this, more stuff quicker. The reason why I'm calling them Primorians is, well, in in, our, in Celtic mythology, the Fomorians were the troll or trolls sea rangers, similar to the giants of Nordic myth. However, I've started using them as a kind of shorthand for orcs in the sci-fi series I have on the side. I should consider making a mod for this game based around that. That's a bit later. Now that I have the political power to spare, I am going to select a policy for the Magazine Fort Workshop. So this funds gain is just not much use. It means we right level it up quicker, but it's a bit late. This means we'd leave less resources, but we'd have an extra policy of... Or if we don't have enough resources, it will be 10% lower. Extra liability or extra research bonus. So this will mean means we'd research things quicker with the with this this smile. I'm inclined to go with the resource need because infantry equipment is always pretty much near the top. So resources go here for it would probably go here first. Just because we need them more. These were originally guard to Walia units, or home guard units. I am upgrade I've upgraded them to regular infantry. I could I'm kinda of torn between trying to train them up properly and get us into the field before the Germans surrender. Because once once Germany surrenders, I am putting an end to the to this playthrough. Arms, field piece research. Again, these are all coming in a bit late. I'm just using it for the ex for the extra XP. Motorization yes, priority. These guys take forever to train. We have to go we have to go sooner or later. And so let's go. Right, Emert, you are on I think she set this to accessible now. I know these guys aren't fully trained yet, but at some point I have to go in. Actually, what I'm going to do instead is have them train up around rim. Just so that I can have them closer to the front when, the, when they're ready.
Still. For as land auctions go, these would be nice. But I think what I'm going to do is... Is elevate the shock troops a little bit. They'll have extra soft attack, extra organization, extra hard attack, cheaper. No reason not to. Right here. I guess we'll update this with our escort. Let's try and build up our anti submarine warfare capabilities. So, special forces. I'm probably going to go with urban clearance teams because we're more likely to come across cities than forts in the. for what's left of this game. But I don't think it makes any real difference because basically it provides extra soft attack and initiative to shock troops, but they get a bonus attack to urban rather than attacking forts. And then this, I don't really get with it, but it's good. Then either, not really using logistics companies, so that's not going to be so much use. Not using armored recon or signal companies either, but support artillery. Yes, I think I will. But again, I do need to get there in the first place. Complaining about oh inefficient comments. I don't care. That's a victory. It's not. There's that. Okay, so the rail networks here are okay. I'm gonna bump these up a bit just to speed things up a bit. Just to try and spread the load around. But they're not immediately pressing. So I can wait until this. This took forever to build. Better late than never, I suppose. These guys are already well trained. It's these guys I'm not so happy about. Rough forests first. Well, there are forts here now as I see it, but... Perhaps what I'll do is help them push up through the low countries. Up towards Brussels to get me some waffles. That's probably not funny. Right, so what am I going to spend this on? Extra artillery buffs or... Extra cartridges for the machine guns. I can probably put another 60 there. And nobody's buying that artillery, so keep upgrading it, I guess. So once the three infantry divisions are fully leveled up, I'll start going on the attack.
Actually, I need to start doing research for physics companies because it's quite a while away, but actually, now I think about logistics companies, if I go back and research this anti-field, anti-vehicle kit, it'll give them extra heart attack. Extra piercing, at least. Small arms research, maybe, might. I'll try logistic strikes as well. See how well these rockets work out. Ooh. Buffs to anti-air. Yeah, let's not do that. Gets an anti-air is all around here. Ah, Luxembourg. Change of plan? Let's go liberate Luxembourg. Luxembourg is next to go, and who knows? Maybe Monaco. And yes, it is possible to play as Monaco in this. In this mod, at least. But I'm not planning to, because I've no reason to. It's there if you want to try it. on Frankfurt Johnson I put you on counterintelligence in the the main British mainlands just for actually I'll put you here Yeah, that's not going too well into Luxembourg. Right. Ah, uh, yes, quite a lot of people there. Insights. Original plan of heading up to Charleroi. I have actually been here. Yeah. we might actually not even have a chance to do that but what the hell until we're in position perfect that's good uh, officer plans try and get this this it's the problem superior enemy do we care? No, we don't. Probably should, but... Enemy air superiority. Ugh. Don't like that. Yeah, we're losing quite a bit of troops there.
probably wasting them there. I think about it. Currently at seventy. Could be from two hundred seventy five down to. We even have a plan there anymore. Then I'm gonna put the gear, try and get in, read it into Rotterdam. I know there's a lot of rivers across there, but we might be more useful there. Having a decrypted cipher means means we have means we have an intel bonus against them. That's always good. Hmm, superior enemy. Yep. Ah, oh, what the hell? Go with this now. Dash. This is. Plus we at war. To Japan. Hmm. Yeah. We're basically trying to attack them when they're dug when they're dug in and and they outnumber us. Well hey, I'm gonna change this. Flamethrower. Flame support company. And I'm going to start building one. Main reason I want flame tanks is they are very, very good at, assa at assaulting in forts. Urban, urban environments. Basically, there's no reason not to have them. Other than I just haven't bothered. Start building more. Artillery. Probably do it more guns as well. First things first, this has to go first. Hmm. I may not have thought this through very well.
No thanks, America. We just can't afford that right now. Bonds. I think probably streamlined line. Smaller ones, I can go with. How many do they have in? I'm just gonna try out. Be hard. The reason why I'm trying micromanaging instead of gra of actual battle planning is sometimes you can just get better results. Yeah, it's going slowly, but... Ooh. Stalled. Hey, another race pilot. Of course, now they all want to lend supplies to us. Because we're short of it. However... Scroll back out here to kill the noise. Most of that is just going to be cancelled in a month or so once we've once we are no longer short. In we have only two in storage. Pull out, guys. Let's see, we could take Milan. Milan. Let's see about cleaning up this rather irritating little pocket here. Like, it's probably not going to be much, but it's just cleaning things up more than anything else. Nice. Probably a bit late in the game, but I might as well get this industrial research here. Crap, we are losing a lot of planes.
Um, I don't know, might, might we managed to get a chance to get in there. Most of what we're really doing is just holding the reserve line. Yep, knew that was going to happen. That wasn't really going to be of much of a thing. Especially since they are now surrounded and have absolutely no supply at all. Really starting to lag now. Their ciphers are broken, they're being bombarded from the air and railway artillery. They have low they have no supply. Not going down on the fight though. They'll give them that much. That's that. All right, I'm gonna pull back a little bit. Give some time to. Ooh. Now start pulling these guys up a little bit. Okay, bring them up a bit. Ah. We only have enough for one of these divisions. Hmm. Actually, considering that the national receiver line hasn't been broken, there's quite a few ports, maybe I'll go with the defensive infiltration here. Hmm. 
yeah, we our combat casualties are causing quite a bit of force support loss there. Well, not quite a bit, not very much. Basically, we lost way more than I'd like for not much gain. Eh. I just wait for him to get back up to strength. We'll get fuel refining because we're going to need fuel. And I think I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it there for now. So to recap, we've had our first foray into ground combat. Hasn't gone as well as I'd have liked, but there's still plenty more to go. All right. See you in the next one. Bye for now.